Hello everyone. In a previous video, we built a standard amortization table in Excel, same payment, same schedule, every month. But as many of you mentioned, life isn't always that simple. What happens when the interest rate changes, your payments vary, what if they don't land on the same day every month, or maybe even they don't cover the interest accrued? That's what we'll solve today how to build an amortization table with irregular amounts and payment dates. Let's jump in. First things first, there are a couple of very important concepts when working with these loans. That is, there's the ability to calculate a daily interest rate and apply it to the outstanding balance. That rate is as simple as the annual interest rate divided by 365 days. The second concept is the order in which payments are applied. Payments are first applied to fees, then to interest, then to the outstanding loan balance or the principal in the loan. Here's the template we'll be using. There's a link to the file and download instructions in the video description. And I've already keyed some sample payments that we can review. But because we don't know the dates, payment amounts, or interest rates in advance, this file is meant to be created and entered row by row. I've set the initial loan amount to $10,000 with a 7% annual interest rate. The loan was made on January 1st, 2025. Let's walk through this column by column. Column A is the incremental payment number. I think it's a good idea to keep track of the payment numbers either paid or received. In column B, I entered some random payment dates. You can see them there and they're separated by the number of days that you can see in column D. Column C has some varying payment amounts. Notice that payment four is so low, it doesn't even cover the accrued interest. More on that later. Column D is a number of days that interest is accrued, and that formula just subtracts the current date from the previous one on the row above. Column E is a beginning balance for the period we're calculating it pulls the ending balance down from the row above. I've entered the annual interest rate in column F. That's divided by 365 in the next column G to create the daily rate. Don't worry about leap years. If you're calculating a daily rate, that should work just fine and be materially accurate enough. Notice the change from 7% to 9% for the fifth payment. If we look further, I'm actually accruing 9% for 31 days, so the rate didn't decrease on May 31st. It actually increased on May 1st. I didn't add a row for this since I like to be able to copy formulas down consistently once the table's created. It just leaves less room for errors that way. My suggestion, if you need it, is to add another column to the right of the balance and just make that for notes. The amount of payment that will be applied to interest is the loan balance times the daily rate times the number of days the balance has been outstanding. In this case, it's $76.71. The amount that applies to principal, or the loan balance, is a $250 payment less the $76.71 amount to interest, or $173.29. The new beginning balance then becomes $9,826.71 or $10,000 less the $173.29 that went to principal. For payment four, I entered a date far enough and a payment low enough that the interest accrual was not covered. In this case, the interest is covered first, but since there's a shortfall, that amount is actually added back to the loan amount. And you can see the increase right there. Note that the 5117 plus the negative 2617 still equals a $25 payment, but I've added the 2617 back. If you have recurring fees associated with the loan, you might consider adding a column to the left of the amount and subtract that from the payment first. The ending loan balance is just the beginning balance less the amount that's been applied to principal. The only thing that reduces a loan balance is the principal. Fees are an expense that's been charged. Interest is the cost to borrow the money, and that relates to the passing of time. So that's it. 
We built a flexible real-world amortization table that handles irregular dates, amounts, and changing rates. This will get you on the right track, but you should always confirm your balances occasionally and before making any financial decisions based on this. I've included a template in the description. Feel free to download and modify it as necessary. And don't forget to like, subscribe, or drop a comment with suggestions for more videos. Thanks for watching.